T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Welcome to another Chill Review. This time it's going to be Star Wars The Black Series, Rey, Dark Side Vision, Grief Karga, Quill, and Moff Gideon. And as you can see, if you put these three boxes together, they fill out one image. And there's Ray. I was, uh, YouTube, YouTube always suggesting videos and whatnot. Man, I, I clicked on some clickbait. I was so angry. This dude was saying that Disney is getting rid of the sequel trilogy. And his proof was based on the fact that you can't find any new sequel trilogy product out on the shelf. Mind you, Rise of Skywalker was just out last year. So, or was it last year or the end of last year? But basically the product was put out and then it had leftovers last year. So maybe they aren't ready to put out more product for that movie. And Mandalorian is the new hotness right now. And then, what is this? He went, he went on a toy hunt and everything. And his proof was the fact that you couldn't find any sequel trilogy stuff on the shelf. And I'm like, if you are a true Black Series of Star Wars collector, you should know that this exists. That exists. She is number one in the Rise of Skywalker collection as far as Black Series. And these are number six, seven, and eight in the Mandalorian Black Series. All right, I'm going to start with Dark Side Vision Ray. Like, I didn't think she had any articulation under this because when we saw those images, basically you just seen her little Palpatinian dress like this. I wish, I wish this was all cloth. I wish it was all cloth. They gave her this cape. But of the things that needed to be all cloth, it needed to be this. Like the first Kylo Ren I got had a ton of cloth. Darth, Darth Vader has a ton of cloth. Like Darth Vader has this big cape. And he has this cape right here underneath. Like they should have. That's that's my main problem with this. They should have put made this cloth to make her legs easier to pose. As it stands, this is very pliable, but it's still rigid and gets in the way. But well, let's let you see. She kind of looks like Kylo, or like a female Kylo Ren without the mask and just the cloak like Palpatine. I wonder, do they have like news or record archive footage of what Palpatine looked like for people to study in history and whatnot in the Star Wars universe? You don't see backstory stuff like that, and I don't read the comics. Maybe they do do things like that. But here's the face of what you can see of it. Is she basically has the same hairstyle as this, and I think the face sculpt is hmm, it's only slightly different they raise her eyebrows up on the edges a little bit but I don't know I wish they would have made her look meaner or shown her spiky teeth but she has these rings right there or little pieces of rope or whatever they are on her finger not much going on right here she does have butterfly joints, unlike that ray I just showed. I was shocked about that. But yeah, the head is just on a double ball post at the top. So it can do tilts and stuff, but it is very difficult to get to you underneath of this. And yeah, there you see her hair. But she was only seen for a few seconds in the movie. So what you gonna do? Articulation legs could do that swivel at the thigh they bend right here and swivel like they've been doing for star wars she can kick forward that much kick back a little bit she does have ankle pivot and feet can go back 
and not really for it. This little lump right there gets in the way. And yeah, her lightsaber or double lightsaber. It folds up like this. And I would assume, would assume, yeah, this is a separate piece. I see it's molded right there to fit around this. Now, I don't have good luck with taking these out, so I'm pretty sure somebody probably did it. I'm not doing it. But there you are. And I was able to just do... How was it? Yeah, here we go. Do this to separate them into two lightsabers so she could have two lightsabers at once if you want. Yeah! Here she is next to regular Ray. Regular Ray is a little bit taller. Well, there you go with that. New body. I guess that, that's proof of new body. I'm going to even put her legs up. And regular Ray is still a little bit taller. So, there you go. Grief Karga. He has excellent sculpting. Excellent. Like this outfit. Let me try to zoom in on that. The texture right there. Really nice looking. And things move pretty much buttery smooth. You could, if you wanted to, flare this out for poses and whatnot. So that's nice. That's always nice. His guns look weird. They don't really have a barrel, but I guess they shoot out energy. So what you gonna do? Oh yeah, and Ray, she doesn't have this up and down articulation. She has the in and out. So yeah, with her being a sword wielder, hmm, I guess they thought it was better for her to hold it double with the, the other type of hands. But he does have two holsters luckily and these are his only two accessories besides this like I don't know what to call this like <laughs> half cape or whatever but my main gripe with him is the face some of these faces are spectacular like it does kind of look like a real person but it's too waxy I, I don't know what it is about them like this ray the ray is good but he looks like a wax person unfortunately but his articulation he does have a butterfly joint as well this is actually pliable it's like a pliable material on top of the plastic his neck has yeah it does rotate at the bottom so that's on a ball joint and he has like the double ball post at the top the range is hmm, a little bit iffy I mean he can look up good enough I guess the elbows just bend 90 degrees and swivel come out that straight right here the wrists rotate and you saw how that moves the range on his waist right here which is has a ball post going up in it can't really crunch forward that much crunches back more swivels and pivot swivels and all that legs no drop down hips or anything but they got that much go forward this much unhindered even though he has this belt with the straps on it can kick back and then they have the new well the swivels there but still swivels here like they have on the new Star Wars articulation. I like it more when they bend way more than 90 degrees, but this doesn't. His feet can also kick forward a lot, kick back a lot, and ankle pivot. No boot rotation, but you don't really need that because you have the knee rotation. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what it is. And here's the wrinkles and molding and sculpting on the back. He's good. I like him. I like Ray. Except for that, this junk down there, like I was saying. Quill. Excellently detailed. I'm hearing that they're going to use this body over again. For other people of his species or ethnicity or whatever you want to call that. 
What is that on them? Hmm. But anywho, he has the same articulation as everybody else. Except he doesn't have butterfly joints. His arms can go up like that. Swivel. Swivel right there. Bend at the elbow a little bit less than 90 degrees. Because of it, though, his body shape, it is difficult to get the hands in front of the body. This gun, I'm guessing you're supposed to hold it like this. But I cannot get the finger inside of that trigger to save my life. And it warps the hands because they were bent like this. He has a stationary base of the neck, but the head can move down that much, up that much, tilt and all that, and of course rotate. This is all attached to this scarf thing around his neck. You get that much and that much backwards. You can rotate. It's, it's one of those ball joints that are shaped angularly. So it like kind of ratchets. Goes out that far. Kick forward. Mm, 90 degrees. You have the swivel right there. And that the swivel above. Well, yeah, above the knee. Ankles go back. Come forward. They can pivot. And it's like a universal system. So that actually rotates right there. If you need it to. So. He can get some good ankle positioning. I think all of them. I think every figure should have that. Especially figures with boots. Like sometimes the cuffs of the pants. Can really hinder. Articulation in the ankles. But as you can see he is. Detailed. Just like everybody else. This can. If. Since it can come off, here's what he looks like without that. I don't know. Some Somebody was upset about that. The, <laughs> like, you're not supposed to be able to see that. You can tilt that forward to come over his eyes. If you want. And if you pop his head off, you can take that off. And here's what he looks like. Without his little backpack I can't remember if he took this hat off in a, in a um, TV show he had such few brief scenes and this is molded in such a way where he can hold it on his back it's a lot easier without the backpack which is hollowed out right here but yeah and I tried to fit the hat in there it is too big and rigid and here's a lot of people's main event, Moff Gideon right here. Since Darth Vader wasn't dead that long, here's probably here's an example of what Darth Vader would have looked like if these two met up for conversations and whatnot. Darth Vader is very tall, as you can see. But before I say that, let's put another typical six-inch action figure. Yeah, Darth Vader is still taller than Snake Eyes. I did that because sometimes these Black Series figures can be short. But, Moth Gideon looks pretty much accurate to what you saw in the show. Here's a close-up on his face. Really good likeness. Wavy hair. I don't know, this dude, especially now that he's older, kind of reminds me of my daggone father. But got that neck action right there. He doesn't have as much pivot sideways and whatnot as everybody else. But this neck can rotate at the base because it's on the ball joint. Of course, do that. Look up. You have to do the back crunch. This cape does not stay on there all that well. It's like on a square peg right here. Well, let me get that out of the way so it doesn't drive me crazy. His ab rotation is probably the best out of all of these people. Or I should say diaphragm. He doesn't have butterfly joints. These 
shoulder pads are connected in the socket. I think they are. Hmm. Actually, let's see. No, they're not. They're connected to the shoulder. I'm lying. So you don't have to worry about that. But going up, you could possibly worry about shearing that off. Elbow bends more than 90 degrees. Rotates. The wrist on this end does that. Here is the dark saber. It is hmm, like a white translucent plastic painted on both sides with a black stripe. This wrist goes in and out like this and of course both of them rotate. This is a separate piece but the legs kick forward that much. Kick back, thigh rotation, go out to the side that much. The weapon holster is a part of this right here. Thigh rotation, knee bends, 90 degrees, swivels. Ankle comes forward only a little bit, goes back a lot, ankle pivot. And he does have a little gun right here. So, this hand does not have a trigger finger. So, I believe he's supposed to actually hold this with this, even though this is the rocking hand. So, you can do whatever you want. But he has this little tiny gun which looks like a regular ass gun to me and he holds it decently and if you wanted to see this does separate and there's like a squared off more squared off peg than normal so i don't i'm not so fearful of that breaking but here he is wielding the gun and the dark saber handle right there maybe you want to see him holding the gun and the dark saber there's that actually let me pull this out of here I didn't show the handle but yeah I like them uh, all of these I, I wish this would stay on better or wish it was cloth. I mean, I do like the sculpting and the paintwork in here. That That's awesome. And everything else as far as the sculpts on him and everybody else is awesome. But their articulation is typically lacking. All right, here's this right here. And yes, I did hear about what happened with her. And my thoughts on that is... And um, I misplaced my mando i took it to work with me the other day i had him in a sandwich bag i don't know what i did with that after i brought it back home so yeah here we go you're gonna have to live with this but yeah like i said they're all cool but i wish they had more articulation if you've been collecting black series this long you know what to expect at least the details and paint is good they aren't horrible at posing even though i didn't do that right here Hopefully, I have a good thumbnail with them in a pose. <laughs> but yeah, they came with the things they should come with as far as accessories. Star Wars stuff, because they all have unique sculpting for the most part, and there's not a lot of reuse throughout the line. They typically don't get a lot of accessories, which is unfortunate. And they're coming up with new ideas as far as articulation, so that they can still give them the articulation, but keep it to a minimum of parts. I'm actually honestly shocked that they still give them thigh rotation and knee rotation. Because if you have knee rotation, you don't really technically need thigh rotation. Unless you want to just keep the sculpt looking very good. So that's a good thing. Don't take that away, please. Thank y'all for watching this. Until next time, Team Man 978 out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the and videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click click the videos click those and videos baby click click the videos you really should click those videos click that shit